I'm John Richards here with Pete and the Pirates here at South by Southwest, and uh, so happy you guys are here. It's it seems to be the only place in America you will, you will play. It's, <laughs> that's the stand of the maybe not. Yeah, yeah well, it's yeah. a good place to play. It you is. Can play anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, the hype is we'll come back soon. Yeah. Maybe this week will help. Yeah, it's supposed way. to help. How yeah. many shows here at South by do you have? I think we've got ten or eleven. Um, we've done <laughs> we've done three today. So five of them are today. <clears throat> yeah, so we're like halfway through now, and when, then when you're doing five shows in one day, like on show four, are you looking at each other like I am so sick of this particular song? No, or do you change well, the set list? Yeah, we yeah, changed the set list. I was just saying earlier how um I think the last gig's going to be a really good set list because yeah. we keep sort of cutting and changing it. I think by the end we actually have got a good set list. Yeah, I think like. the people <laughs> who come to see us at, at the end of today are going to see the best show of the day for yeah, sure. Yeah. And we got what? We got show three. three yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And I, we're average. I yeah. No, no, that, that's, maybe this will be the best because it's the middle and, you know, we'll be worn out by the end. But I, I think, like, bands in general need, need to play more shows per day and work harder. Mm. So if you think, like, your average gig's half an hour yeah. and most people work, like, eight hours a day. It's still only two and a half hours work a day. Yeah, so. it's, it's disgraceful. Yeah, I could happily play for longer. Well, think about that. How often do you actually work doing a live show? It really is. You can't practice. I mean, you're in your practice space doing that, but as yeah. far as playing on stage, is that... So it's got to be good when you go back home after playing that many shows. You feeling y yeah, yeah. burned think, out or like in the top no, of your game? Well, I think we're always slightly kind of desperate to do more. Yeah. I don't know. We sort of. I think we worked out we did about two hundred shows last year, which was quite a lot. That's, but that is a lot. But when you stop, you get kind of um, you sort of feel a bit lost. Like you, you don't do, know don't what you? To do with yourself. When you come mm. off tour yeah. and you've been playing every day for like however many months you feel really restless and you kind of I feel, you, you, it's like, yeah, the habit of doing something every single night, you, you really miss it and, and you, you kind feel of, a bit sad. You yeah. make each night kind of interesting for yourself by, you know, Watching playing TV. new, <laughs> well, well, yeah, by playing <laughs> new songs each night and you, I don't know, I've never really got, never really found that thing of like, oh, I'm sick of playing these songs because if you are, then you play some different playing. songs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, exactly. It's never really been a problem. But. but for also though, when you're out that much, does it affect uh, what you guys want to do outside of just touring? Does it affect releasing records, writing records, yeah. doing that part of well, it? Well, it, it has to really in a way, doesn't it? Because yeah. I, I personally find it really, really hard to write on the road and to kind of um, be creative. It's more of a kind of... Uh, uh, not a toil because the, the shows like, themselves are really fun but I, ca I can't write on the road so yeah. I need to wait till I get home and I'll scribble down words and stuff but I need to get home and then have like a crazy intense period of getting yeah. all those ideas out yeah, um, yeah and you some have people end up with loads of sort of um, little uh, recordings on my mobile phone of me like humming yeah. which are usually <laughs> awful <laughs> but, yeah. um, you're like what well, you want this to be a song yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell were you thinking it takes like a few days to edit when do you much. when do you say okay I got a song is um, it when you're just humming this or does it all I depend, I guess, on, well, on how good that hum is? We, um, I think both me and Tom will probably come to the band, say, with quite complete sort of songs. Mm. Like, we very rarely come with, like, a bit of a song and say, I've got this idea, and, like, jam it out. Yeah. We've never really jammed. We hate jamming. <laughs> we, we're not jammers, you know. I'm not a big yeah. jam band fan. Nah. No. Maybe, maybe that's why I like you guys. I mean, there's, like, two, three-minute songs there. That was yeah. great. Yeah, it's far from jam band. Concise. Although you have enough guitars for a jam band. Yeah, sure. There yeah. are a lot of guitars on stage. And I was saying before we started filming, the smallest stage you've played, is, is that a little dangerous with um, four guitars? Does it, someone get hurt? Cam, if, if you're not careful with your guitar strings, some people yeah. like they, they put their strings on and there's like strings flying off, which, you know, rock and roll. But <laughs> have someone's eye out. And yeah. you have to also rock and you rock. have to learn to play the guitar like this instead of like this. <laughs> because when, like, when Pete's head is there... Um, and I've got my guitar there, it could be quite quite dangerous. Kind of, um, Not dangerous, but just annoying for him when I keep hitting sure, him in the sure, eye. Sure, that's awkward. You yeah. sort of kind of get sort of stiller, get in a little corner. I usually yeah. find a corner near the back. <laughs> yeah, you could do end. some like jumping like this. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the crowd can't figure out exactly why. Yeah. Like, they're kind of dorks. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were no, they not always so think much that. dorks. Yeah. Uh, getting on with, with uh, more American dates and a, and a record in the U.S. Now, the, did the record come out here in the U.S.? I know I was playing an import. It, but uh, no, it it sort of never did. Um, I, don't, I don't really know why. I think we sort of... Um, uh, well, we forgot, didn't we? We kind of spent a, um, a lot we're of time in We're very forgettable, America. No, oh, no, we're happened. very forgetful. That's the oh, problem. Oh, got it, got it. Um, um, we sort of... I think we wanted it to happen and sort of expected it would happen, but sort of didn't actually get around to making it happen. But maybe. then when it does happen, which it will, it'll be all the more right. um, amazing. Yes. That's not the great, not the best words. Like, <laughs> all the more. Plus, you haven't played 
99.9% of the cities yeah, here in America. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So they're just ready for you. Yeah, it's a whole new world. And all of us who come to South by see you, yeah. we can spread the we're word. It's build all part up, of the plan. We're going to build up the tension. Right. So it's, it's basically <laughs> I can feel it. so unbearable that people are going to yeah. go wild. It's going to be like Beatlemania yeah, in America. Madison again. Square Garden in 2013. Yeah. Well, we, luckily we filmed this, so the young <laughs> bands out there can can follow this li line of instructions yeah, to they can say, start I was the there. mania at the beginning. Yeah, this is well, PR, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we look forward to more music. You played new songs, which was great. Yeah. And uh, so I assume you're working on the new record at yeah. some point. Yeah, I mean, now we've sort of been working on it. This is kind of, in a way, like an excuse to sort of practice some of the new songs, because we never really played a lot of the new songs live, mm. but we've been working on it for the last few months, Yeah. Um, working solidly on the album, so... This is kind of nice to just like let us because it's kind of interesting when you play the songs to an audience. It's um, you sort of suddenly learn different things about the songs which you haven't noticed when you're just in this little studio. Yeah, but what if you play the new song and you're like there's no reaction? And you're like, well, well, I guess that's not going to make the record. Well, it's sometimes and yeah. sometimes I think, well, this this audience aren't going to get another show. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way. That's why I think, I think screw audience, you. Not you. Yeah. Uh, What's wrong with you? These songs are great. Yeah. Well, we look forward to a, a record coming out here in the U.S. Yeah, I and think hopefully dates seen. in Seattle. When that would be are, nice. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm very, very uh, uh, happy audience out there. I play "All Love" probably. Uh, oh right, almost yeah. every morning. That's it is good. one of the most requested. I got to be honest with you. It's one of the most requested songs probably oh, that's cool. on my show. We too. haven't played that for quite a while, actually. Yeah, I didn't want to say um, anything. No, yeah. Play it I, I don't want to. I'm say that anything. jerk fan who's like, I hate that band. They didn't play my song. <laughs> yeah, but that. That is a that is a very pretty song. Should oh. I tell you now that it's called Ill Love, not All Love? Is it Ill Love? Yeah, it's Ill Love. I say All Love. Yeah, Ill Love. Because most most people think it is called All Love. But if you look really hard, there's no. But if you listen to the lyrics, though, it makes sense. That yeah. Because yeah. it's a bit of a. I shouldn't have said song. anything. No. I know it is messed up. I, you know, little Pete wrote it. That's yeah. why. It's, that's why. It's, hey yeah. man, I wrote it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, did, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, he wrote it. I can't get the title right. You don't know who wrote it. It's a good song though. Thank yeah. God you didn't play it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, it's no, it's really good. It's one of my, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Everyone loves that song. It's why it's part of the whole Beatlemania thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be huge for, sure. for you guys. So thanks again for coming to Thank South by Southwest for us. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. man. Love to meet you. Thanks for having us out here as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. Beating the Pirates. You're on KXP. Thanks.